Good morning, my art-loving people out there. It's always a good day when you get to play with watercolor and especially when you get to play with new watercolors. So today we are checking out these My Mary Blue or May Mary Blue, I've heard it pronounced both ways, set of five. We are going to swatch these out in my usual watercolor project method, which puts them on arches, cotton paper, and then I cut them apart and put them in these business card holders. So they're sorted by color, and these are the ones I still have to put in holders and put in my database, but that's how those end up. And I had some extra arches paper here that we'll be using, and then I thought we'd set it up in this awesome ceramic, you can tell by the sound, <laughs> meat in palette. Now that comes in this very colorful box here and it comes nicely wrapped in foam with little foam padding in between the layers and on top. So it's very well protected and in fact I have two of these to give away today. If you would like to be entered to win one of these cute little ceramic palettes, they're so cute. <laughs> it will cost me more to send it to you probably than to just buy it, but I thought it'd be a fun giveaway. So enter the word giveaway, all one word, in the comments below, and you just might win one of these cute little things. Now there are 12 wells here and I only have five colors, so I debated on whether I really wanted to use this palette for these or not, but I can use these extra wells for mixing and the college bought these paints here. So this will be my teacher's palette and I'll put a couple of these extra fun colors in the student palettes that I set up, which is a video over on my Patreon. So if you haven't seen that video, that's why. Check out my Patreon, we do a lot of fun stuff. I send you postcards of my paintings, we do live streams, Zoom meetings, all kinds of fun stuff. So I'm just going to squeeze the wet paint into these pans, let it dry eventually, probably not for today because I want to swatch this right now because I'm dying to see these colors and we'll get this day started. I was about to do this off camera and just show you later after it's done, but look how thick the paint is. Just thought you might want to see that. Make sure there's, yeah, there's like foam in there. <laughs> so I will make this fairly full but not too full because I want to have some for the student palettes. I may stir that around with a toothpick as well to really get it mired in there, so to speak. And I can show you that real quick because I have toothpicks right here. Yeah, definitely super thick paint so it's not going to melt into the palette at all. Not this color at least. This is the Cadmium Yellow Deep. Just kind of push it into all the corners and it's fine if it's coming up over the top a little because it should evaporate some of its volume out. Anyway, hopefully it doesn't spill over into the next one too much. I was going to space them out but then I came up with a different plan and this is how they're gonna be. So let's see if this one's liquidy. Yeah, this one will be more liquidy. Oh, maybe not, just had a little binder separation so I probably need to, let me mix that up real quick first before I get too far because I can get that binder mixed in before the pan here gets too full or the well, I guess it's not a pan when it's a ceramic palette, is it? I know I had a little yellow in there but it'll be fine. And I'll do the other three and get back to you. This first one is Cadmium Yellow Deep. It's a PY35 and these are still very wet so it'll be interesting to see if I get a good representation of the color. I like to use my paints very dry down but that's okay. I want to see them right now. So yeah, Cadmium Yellow Deep PY35 3 star light fast rating and I can't tell the square on the front makes it seem like it's saying it's opaque which would make sense for cadmium but there is a thing on the side of the tube that says ST so I'm assuming that's not semi-transparent and that is actually meaning that this is staining. Put the salt on the wrong side but that's okay this will be a, a unique swatch in the whole set there. <laughs> This one is green gold and if I'm reading the tube correctly, it is saying that it is got mica in it and PY129 and that it's staining and transparent with, did I say three star light fast rating already? Probably, I don't know. No 
Ooh, it moves in water very nicely. Oh, I've got some unmixed in. One of the dangers of using it like this. <laughs> there, very nice. Next up we have Quinacridone Lake. Three star light, fast rating, transparent staining, and it's a PV19. Ooh, that's very, very vibrant. Looks like it's gonna move in water too. I could tell that just from putting it on the ceramic palette over there. Yes, it does. That is gorgeous. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous, wow. Oh, it moves so prettily. It's a really nice light purple too when it's diluted. Yet it's a deep pink in its mass tone. That's pretty cool. Just making sure I have the usual amount like I do when it's dry from a dry pan. Here we have Ultramarine Deep, three star light fast rating PB29, and it is staining. Good, that one is already actually starting to set up in the palette, which means maybe they'll dry out quickly enough that we can use them in a painting not in their wet form. Okay. Get some more mixed up. See, that's why it just it feels like you use more paint when they're wet than when they're dry, which, I don't know, it's not super logical, but I'm pretty sure it's true. <laughs> This one is Payne's Gray, semi-transparent, three star light, fast rating, and it says it's an Indico Sinetico Vat Blue One staining. So I'm not really sure what that means as far as pigment, but maybe I'll look it up and stick it on the screen if I can figure that out. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, it's setting up already, which that is good news. That's very nice. Moves in water beautifully. Some cat hair, that's always helpful. If I can get that off while it's all still wet. Okay, get some more pigment. It's hard to get the right pigment load when it's like this because I'm just not that used to it. I know so many Professional artists paint with their paint directly from the tube. And I do with acrylic oils and gouache. Well, except for that little gouache palette I have. But not watercolor. All right, I feel like I could actually get that darker if I was using it directly from a dried pan. So I'm not really feeling like I'm getting the deepness up there in mass tone like I normally would if it had been dried. So we may end up redoing a couple of these after these pans dry, just out of curiosity to see what they look like. Now the swatches are dried and cut out. We can see them a little closer. Here's the Cadmium Yellow Deep. The Green Gold. It's quite nice. This Quinacridone Lake looks really pure, very nice. Ultramarine Deep. And I looked it up and it just means it's made with synthetic indigo. That blue one. Very nice shade of Payne's Gray. And while we're waiting on the paints in the ceramic palette to dry out a little bit, I thought I would show you this watercolor gift box one more time, just in case you haven't seen it. This is something I curated. It is 12 days of watercolor goodness. I'll have to zoom out, it's so big. So you get an envelope like this each day, chock full of supplies. And they're all to do with watercolor. You end up with an entire set of professional grade watercolors and half pans and 
step-by-step -step videos showing you how to do all of the activities in here. And there are several different activities you get to do. And so the videos that you end up with, you'll have lifetime access to all of this deliciousness. And after experiencing and seeing a couple of other advent calendars, I do believe that this is a great value. It is only $115 right now. International shipping is only $15 more and it appears like it's getting to my international customers very quickly. So again, this is not holiday themed. You can enjoy this at any time of the year. So if you're seeing this and it's after Christmas for some reason, you can still order one because you can do the activities any time of the year. So if you want a whole bunch of fun surprises day after day, with some I didn't even show on this video today with you, then you might check this out. I will link it in the description box below and I will be putting the link up on the screen. There are a few left, so grab them while you can. All right, two things. It's only been a couple hours. I know I have a different shirt on, my lipstick's on, whatever, I've been cleaning the house. But I wanted to wait until the paint was dry to paint with it, but I just can't. I just am dying to paint with it now, and the cat's joining us. She's so sweet. This is Cassie. Anyway, not only am I dying to paint with the paint, I am dying to paint in my Cotty Fat book again. So that's what we're going to do, whether the paint is dry or not. Although I think you will be surprised at the way the paint looks at the moment. So let's take a look. Let me move little kitty, little kitty. She's so cute. And I'll flip you down to the desk view. Welcome to the desk view. So I put the lid on this, thinking I could just let this dry out with the lid on. Well, because it has such a lip around the edge, this kind of sits flat on the top, so that was a bad idea. All the paint stuck to there and it stuck really well, so I had to scrape it off and try and put it in the wells again, and it was kind of a mess and I still have a bunch left. That's okay, but look how dried down the ultramarine is. It already has a like a matte coat on the top and it's very squishy underneath. So all of these have a film over the top already and then I should be able to use a lot of the paint from here. And the only painting I have in my fat book is this one where we use the Roman Schmal Payne's Gray. Such a pretty color. What a fun painting too. I actually want to do a painting kind of similar to this today, but I am going to challenge myself, I'll challenge myself, I'm just going to use the back side of the paper because I want to use every page of this. So that could be interesting. I'll cover this side with a rag, put something under this so it's not all loosey-goosey, like maybe these two things. That's too tall. I'll figure it out and we will paint. I really have no idea what I'm going to paint, but I know it's going to be a landscape and that I'm going to enjoy myself greatly. All right, well, it's not a great idea to use a lot of water on the Cotty Fat Book, but I'm gonna put some on there anyway and just go for it. Wow, well, I have hair in there already, imagine that. All right, didn't tape it down, didn't do anything with the edges, but I don't care, doesn't bother me yet. Okay, ooh, pretty. So the paint's gray is bleeding into that. I was hoping I could use that, but I'll use this over here. Do some kind of sunsetty thing. Could probably use some of this green gold for slightly different, brighter color, which would be nice. Could use ultramarine or Payne's gray. We could have like a slightly cloudy, moody sky. Ooh, turning the Payne's gray into some kind of green, adding that yellow into it, which is kind of neat. I like that. Warping a lot because of so much water that I added to it. Let's get some more of that straight Payne's gray going. All right. Really like how that's turning a bit green. Actually, I know a lot of people don't want greens in their sky, but it can look good if it's done with intention. I think I will do a kind of lake reflection. So the reason I set this palette up like this, skipping that first space, is because I know the way I paint, the way I love to paint, that I'm going to want a bright yellow. I'm already missing it <laughs> just doing this painting so it will need to be added in at some point. I love how 
when you're at that certain drying level you can put paint in and it just like pushes any of the other paint that's there away makes it really easy to add in some paint sometimes kind of looking at this from an angle so I want to make sure I don't have too crooked of a horizon line although it may still end up that way you never know all right let's get a little Payne's gray mixed in with the green gold Ooh, pretty All right, what can we do in the foreground to make it interesting? Maybe a grassy field of some sort? Could make ourselves a interesting green, I betcha. Maybe the land comes in a little bit there. And then I wanna add in some flowers with that quinacridone lake we have because it's really pretty. And this is kind of at the drying level, I think we added a bunch of color it could be really cool because it'll push that other color away yeah look at that make that kind of bleed into the lake see how crooked of a line i get because the paper is so warped let me stand up i think that'll help love all the layers we have going on that's very cool this is an interesting color selection and it's actually a very good color selection with the exception of that bright yellow that I talked about needing this would do everything I needed to do in paintings in my opinion if I had that bright yellow I'd be set that is one of the colors that I tend to go through the most in all of my palettes is a bright yellow and this one needs it that's for sure but the paints gray is perfect I love the deepness that you can get and kind of the orange tint in the cadmium yellow deep and the quinacridone lake is just beautiful. I'm sure I could have mixed up a really nice purple. In fact, maybe we can do some color mixing in the future with this set. And Payne's Gray is always going to be one of my favorites. What do you guys think? Do you think you could paint successfully with just these five colors? What additional colors do you think you might need to be happy with this palette? For me, it's just that bright yellow, and if I was using it all the time, I would like a convenience brown and purple. I believe it's mostly dried. You can see, if I move this, did not affect the painting on this side at all, even though the paper is really thin. So it is apparently sized well, <laughs> which I totally expected from the Cotty Fat Book because I have the little one and it's awesome. So it's fine. Actually, I don't like really the way that bush right there suddenly ends. So I should probably add a little bit of greenery to that. I always do that. I'm like, hey, I'm done. Guess what? I am not done. Sometimes you see things later that you just want to fix better. All right, good enough. Gotta stop somewhere sometime. Maybe, maybe not. Let's add some pink in there. Why not? All right. On this paper, they acted just like my other paints. <laughs> I realized as I was doing it that because it's not arches or like a stiff paper, I can't really tell you much more than that other than they came out beautifully on the arches swatch paper. So I think I'll enjoy having them around to use in between classes and end class. I think that'll be fun and it'll be good to add in some other colors. Make it a little bit more complete. And just a word of warning, this sits very flat on that. So do not overfill your pans. Now these still have a long ways to go before they're dry. So I will keep you updated on how they dry down fully later this month or next month. So if you don't want to miss that and you want to be notified when that video comes out, you hit the subscribe button and the little bell for all notifications is completely free to subscribe. Just let you know when I have a video out, which is kind of fun. Well, that is a wrap on the My Mary Blue or May Mary Blue. How do you guys say it? Do you have these watercolors? What do you think of them? I will continue to use them as time goes on and I will keep you updated. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Good mor- Good- <laughs> That was funny. Good morning, my art-loving friends. I have so much fun to think- What? What? Can I have my notebook, please? <laughs>
<laughs> Give me my notebook. I'll take the pencil. <laughs> you want them both? <laughs> you can't have them both. I need my inventory. Inventory is mine. Not today, it's not. <laughs> ah! Almost died. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that's a pencil and not a paintbrush. What do you think, Chica? Are you having way too much fun? Can I have my pencil? Mm -hmm. <laughs> ha! Got my inventory. Or not.